Shana Tova, Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for joining Beth Tikva Congregation for this unique High Holy Day service. Though we cannot see each other face to face in this online format, may we feel the loving collective spirit of togetherness and tradition that transcends time and space through our worship, prayer, and song. Together we are strong, and together we are always Beth Tikva, the house of hope. We know that many of you spend much time in front of your devices, and we have been thoughtful in planning our service time so the length of the service will be shorter. Our service tonight will include worship, liturgy, and rituals of which you are familiar. The texts will, you will see displayed before you are from our High Holy Day Maxor, Mishkan and Nefesh. Some parts of the service have been pre-recorded, such as the beautiful music of our choirs and instrumentalists. Those who are serving honors in our service will be seen both live as they appear on your screen and pictured as they open the ark at special moments. Cantorial leader Lana and I hope that you will join us throughout the service with your voice and prayer and song, filling your home with Yom Tov joy and spirit. Again, wishing you a Shana Tova a year of sweetness and blessing. We are ready to begin. Here we go. We return. We return. We return, return again. Together now. We return. We return. We return, return again and again to love. hear it. Love and truth. Love and truth. We return again to you. We invite at this time Alice and Elliot Rosenberg to light and bless the Shabbat and Yom Tov candles. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech 
Asher Shana Pumisota, the Sibana, the Hadlik Nair, Shell Yum Tov. Plus, is the Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who hallows us with misfote and commands us to kindle the lights of Shabbat. For Rukha Tadunai, Alohana Narakalam, Shahayana, the Kiyamana, the Hidiana, and the Sahayana. God of years, God of eternity, bless us now and always. Bless our homes and our families. Be with us in our dreams and in our hopes. Be with us through these days of awe as we search our souls within and seek the lasting shelter of your love. Shalom Alechem, Malache Hasharit, Malache Elion, Mi Melech, Malche Hamlachim, Hakadosh, Hakadosh, Baruch, Bohem, Bohem, Lishalom, Malache Hasharit. Shalom Alechem, Malache Hasharit, Malache Elion, Mi Melech, Malche Hamlachim, Hakadosh, Hakadosh Baruch, Setchem Lishalom, Setchem Lishalom, Malache Hasharit. Tik uva de shofar be kesel yom chagenu ki chok li Yisrael hu mishpat lelohei akov. At the new moon, at the full moon, for our feast day, sound the shofar. 
for that is the law of Israel, the way of God, of Jacob. Hallelujah. Praise God with the blast of the shofar. Baruch Blessed are you in our lives, Adonai. You hear with love the shofar, true voice of your people Israel. Rise in body or spirit for Hinani. Here I am, so poor in deeds, I tremble in fear, overwhelmed and apprehensive before you to whom Israel sings praise. Although unworthy, I rise to pray and seek favor for your people Israel, for they have entrusted me with this task. Therefore, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God of Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, Adonai, Adonai, merciful, gracious God, who inspires awe, I pray to you for success on my path. I pray for myself and my community. Do not hold them responsible for my wrongs and offenses. May my deeds cause them no shame and may their deeds cause me no shame. Accept my prayer as though it were offered by one more worthy of this task, a scholar proficient in prayer, unblemished in character, pleasing in voice. Let love be our banner, let it banish our wrongs. May Israel's strife and misfortunes be turned into joy, renewed life and peace. Love, peace and truth, may they prevail among us. And may there be no impediment, impediment to my prayer. Adonai, God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, God of Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel and Leah. Great, mighty, awe-inspiring, God most high, who said to Moses, I will be what I will be. May it be your will that my prayer reaches your presence for the sake of the righteous and blameless, the honest and pure of heart, for the sake of your glory. You hear your people's prayer with compassion. Blessed are you, the one who hears prayer. in soul to ask of you to hear your people in our task to make us whole we profess our faith quiet our tears let nothing distract us as we face our hard fears. O oh God of our ancestors, grant us mercy and grace. Show us awe and wonder in this holy done wrong, as I know we all have. Be kind to your people in your 
compassion and love. We face ourselves and the deeds of our past. We recognize our human failings and promise to forgive at last. Oh God of our ancestors, grant us mercy and grace. Show us awe and wonder in this holy space. May I offer up our prayers without stumbling. Oh God, let me not stumble. Elohenu velohe avotenu v'imotenu. Yehi ratzon chenizke levirchotecha. Bishnat chameshet elofim. Ushva meot ushmonim ve'echat. Our God and God of our ancestors, may we know your blessings in the year 5781. Eternal One, bless us and the whole house of Israel with renewed life, happiness, and peace, comfort, and courage, resilience, and strength. May we renew our words of prayer tonight, restore their luster, bring them to life. Let song and silence and shofar sounds awaken our souls. Love beyond all space and time, your love enfolds your people of Israel. We receive it in your teaching, your gift of Torah, sacred obligations, discipline, and law. So let us speak these teachings when we lie down and rise up and find joy forever in your Torah and mitzvot. They are the very essence of our life, ours to ponder and study all our days. May we never lose or be unworthy of your love. Baruch atah Adonai, ohev amo Yisrael, for you are blessed, the one who loves your people Israel. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Baruch Shem Kevod Malchoto, Le'olam Avaed. Join together with the Ahavta. The Ahavta et Adonai Elohecha, the whole of Ha, who the whole of Shecha, who the whole me or Deha, the Hayo had varim ha ele, a Sheranohi Mitzavacha. Hayom aleva vecha, vishinanta hanuva necha, vidibarta bam, vishiftacha bevetecha, uvelechtacha hava derech, uveshoch becha, uvkumecha, 
וכשתם לאות על ידיך, והיו לטוטפות בין עיניך, וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך, למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותיי. ואיתם קדושים לאלוהיכם, אני אדוני אלוהיכם, אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים, להיות לכם לאלוהים, אני אדוני אלוהיכם. To break the bonds of anger, to be generous of heart, to break the bonds of shame, to live with self-respect, to break the bonds of envy, to serve one another in joy, to break the bonds of boredom, to be attentive to all God's gifts, to break the bonds of fear, to live with courage and strength, to untie the knots of betrayal, to love with fullness of being, to break the bonds of loneliness, to receive a hand of hope, to break the bonds of self-centeredness, to extend a hand of help, released from the darkness, our people found their freedom at the sea, and we pray for liberation at the dawning of this year. Mikamocha Baelim Adonai, Mikamocha Nedarba Kodesh, no rote not all safe. Malchoteha Raovanecha Boke Ayam Lifne Moshe O Miriam Zeeli Anove Ameru Adonai Imloch Leolam Avaed Venemar Kifadadona את יעקב, וגאלו מיד חזק ממנו. ברוך אתה, אדוני, גאל ישראל. We continue with Hashki Venu, a prayer asking for God's guidance and protection as we go on our way.
We rise in body or spirit for tefillah. Your life-giving power is forever. With us in life and in death, you liberate and save, cause dew to descend, and with mercy abundant, loving, nurture all life. From life to death, you are the force that flow without end. You support the falling, heal the sick, free the imprisoned and confined. You are faithful even to those who rest in the dust. Power beyond power, from whom salvation springs, sovereign over life and death, who is like you. Merciful God who compares with you, with tender compassion you remember all creatures for life. 
faithful and true, worthy of our trust, you sustain our immortal yearnings. In you, we place our undying hope. You are holy, your name is holy, seeker of holiness, praise you day by day, Selah. So Chreinu Adonai Eloheinu Bo Litova Ufok Denu Bo Liv Racha Behoshienu Bo Lechayim Eternal our God, remember us, be mindful of us, and redeem us for a life of goodness and blessing. Amen. Amen. Eternal our God, your people Israel yearns for your favor. Receive their prayer with loving acceptance. And may you always desire your people's worship. Divine one, close to all who call upon you. Bring your grace and presence near to those who serve you. Pour forth your spirit on us. And may our eyes see your merciful return to Zion. Baruch atadonai hamachazir shechinato litzion. Blessed are you whose divine presence is felt again in Zion. We take a moment for tefillah to love for silent prayer.
who's the time that a bear mir ma Villain Kali line of she dom but not she ke a far le call to he hello hi hello hi We rise in spirit for Avinu Malkenu. Avinu Malkenu, almighty and merciful. Avinu Malkenu, strong was the faith of generations before us. In exile, they proclaimed enduring hope. In the shadow of persecution, they affirmed a transcendent love and compassion. Ours is a different age, less confident and certain, more tentative in its trust. There are many who say that the works of their hands, you are our gods. But when our worship centers on our own creations, we feel less gratitude, more doubt and despair. This is the paradox of our spiritual lives. We grow smaller in self-exaltation, nobler, when we reach for you. On this night of return, let us find the humility to come close to you and open ourselves to your presence. For you are absent only when we fail to make room for you in our hearts, distant only when we turn away from you. Now, as others have done before us, let us overcome doubt and speak these words of affirmation. 
we call you Avinu as loving parents, forgiving, forgive our wrongs and failings. Accept us in our human frailty. We call you Malkenu, as sovereign of our souls. Help us rise from our brokenness to build a world of shalom. To this vision, we offer ourselves anew. Avinu Malkeinu, Chatanu Lefanecha. Avinu Malkeinu, Chamol Aleinu, Ve'al Ol Aleinu, Ve'tapeinu. Avinu Malkeinu, Kale Dever, Ve'chereb Ve'raav Me'aleinu. Avinu Malkeinu, Kale Kotsar, Omastin Me'aleinu. Avinu Malkeinu, Avinu Malkeinu, Kotvenu, Besefer Chaim Tovim, Avinu Malkeinu, You may be seated. Shana Tova. Rosh Hashanah celebrates the creation of the world. Vahi Erev, Vahi Boker, there is evening, there is morning, a first day. As in the world around us, so too in human life, darkness is followed by light. Tonight I want to share with you a true story. A few weeks ago I officiated for the funeral of a beloved longtime Beth Tikva member, Leora Mager. Her name Leora in Hebrew means light unto me, or I have light. Leora in her life exemplified her name in every way. Many of you knew her. She was someone who brought a positive, energetic brightness, a warmth and glow to everyone around her. Leora would get your life story in a minute and hug you for 10. She was hopeful. She never said, woe is me. She was dignified and courageous. On her first chemo appointment, Leora walked, waltzed into the place determined Unlike everyone else who threw on sweatpants for the procedure, Leora walked in dressed to the nines, wearing high heels and perfect makeup. She was so strong, so optimistic. The idea that she could die seemed unfathomable. But sadly, 
she did eventually die. And her large family gathered to grieve and bury the family matriarch while wearing masks and holding back hugs. Life and death are twins. Grief and hope walk hand in hand, our prayer book reminds us. Driving home after the funeral, I made a call to a lovely young family, relatively new to the temple. That weekend, their treasured infant daughter would receive a Hebrew name in a ceremony with family and friends via Zoom video conferencing. Of course, all babies are special and treasured, but this infant was precious in another way. She was a rainbow baby, a child that arrived after a miscarriage, bringing blessing and joy. The name rainbow baby comes from the idea of a rainbow appearing in the sky after a storm or after a dark and turbulent time. As we read in the Torah story of Noah, I asked the parents if they had yet chosen a Hebrew name for their daughter. They did not have a particular relative to name the child after, and they had been thinking about a name for weeks. What name could best embody their journey from grief to joy? What name would remind them of hope and brightness and unstoppable determination? The Hebrew name they came up with for their cherished infant daughter, they told me, as I drove home from the funeral, was Leora. Leora, they explained to me, means light. Light unto me, I have light. No one can say for sure if this was all just a coincidence or if it was beshert, meant to be. And yet I couldn't help myself from telling these young parents about the serendipity of the moment and the unseen hand that might have guided their decision. I told them that Leora Mager I told them about Leora Mager and I said, this little baby now has a guardian angel watching over her in heaven. Recently, I asked a friend, a rabbinic colleague for advice on the tone of my Erev Rosh Hashanah sermon. Should I begin by acknowledging the pain and sadness of the year or stick to a message of joy and hope she replied, Taryn, the answer is Hillel sandwich. Hillel sandwich, I asked? You mean the piece of matzah at the Seder table that we load up with bitter maror and sweet haroset? You take a bite and you wince and smile at the same time? Yes, exactly, she said. Hillel sandwich. It's just like life. There is sweetness and sometimes stinging unpleasantness. Sometimes you get both in the same mouthful. My friend is 100% right in her characterization of the Jewish year 5780 and life in general. Putting this concept into a Rosh Hashanah lens, the sound of the shofar conveys both sadness and joy. Sometimes we hear the call of the shofar as a bitter cry, a wailing for the sadness that we feel inside. At the same time, the cry of the shofar is meant to crack open our hearts and stir in us empathy for the tears of others. The shofar blast can be a call to justice, a wake up urging us to heal ourselves our relationships, and our broken world. And the sound of the shofar can elicit joy, even laughter as we ring in a new year with hope and anticipation for blessings ahead. Rosh Hashanah, of course, isn't just Yom HaTruah, a day of blasting the shofar. It is also called Yom HaZikaron, a day of remembering. We remember and evaluate our past year and we seek to make changes where we have taken the wrong path, missed the mark. 
I know it's tempting to look back and remember the past year as if it began in 2020. It's tempting to characterize the entire year by the darkness that descended upon us in March. But that is not a Jewish way of reviewing the year that was. 5780 began on the first of Tishrei, way back in September of, of, the, of the last year. On the whole, the entire year, both the bitterness and the sweetness, our mistakes and low points we think of. And we remember our noble moments of courage, exuberance, and kindness. Yes, last year there was darkness, and there is darkness still. That's part of life. But even in darkness, we know there is light. There is always light to behold. There is always some brightness to find, some illumination we might create ourselves. This Rosh Hashanah, as you hear the sound of the shofar, as you reflect on the year that was and look forward to the future, I invite you to hear the mournful cry of the shofar and take that sadness that exists in you, the tears of others, and hear it as a call for action, a call for healing. And I invite you to hear the joyful exuberance of the shofar's blast and remember the goodness that was also last year, the happy moments, the proud moments, the joy and blessings of 5780. And then take that warmth, that love, that brightness, and share it with others who need it the most. May 5781 be for you, for all of us, a year of more joy than sorrow, more haroset than maror, more joyous shofar blasts than mournful cries, and a year when every day you can say, I have light, light unto me. Shana Tova, may you be inscribed in the book of life for a sweet new year. Amen. We rise in spirit for Elenu. Alenu lishabeach la adon hakol, la tet gdulal yotze brishit, shehu no te shamayim viyose daritz, umoshav ikaro bashamayim mimaal, ushechinat uzo begovhe meromim, hu eloheinu ein od, vanachnu koreim, Umishtachavim umodim Lifne melech malche hamlachim Hakadosh baruchu Letaken olama b'malchut shaday V'neemar v'hayo Adonai Lemelech al kol ha'aretz Bayom ha'hu, bayom ha'hu Yeh Adonai echad U'shemo, u'shemo our thoughts turn to our loved ones whom death has taken from us in recent days and those who died at the season in years past. Our hearts open as well to the wider circles of loss in our community and wherever grief touches the human family. 
Zichronam Livracha, may their memories be a blessing in this new year and always. We mourn the recent passing of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who for so many of us in the Jewish community was someone that we admired and so many in the United States admired. May her memory always be a blessing. Her memory will always be a blessing. And from our community, we remember at this time, Shirley Bell, Rebecca Brotman, Judith C. Sharon, Shernan, Bernice Cohen, Marilyn Feltman, Morton Feierlerman, Eleanor Fisher, Daniel Aaron Fox, Seymour Friedman, Frida Gilbert, Martin Goldman, Joseph Greenberg, Sylvia K. Greenberg, Blanche Gurney, Sam Hoffman, Rebecca Katz, Iris Berman Kerman, Jules, Jules Lesser, Danielle Joy McClellan Lewis, Betty Jane Rosengard, Rosalind Simon, Selma Sobel, Herman Whitman. And we extend support to the loved ones of Lior Mager, Sandra Fishmar, and Rick Kane, whose deaths are yet within the period of Shaloshim. As we prepare to recite together Kadisha Tom, we say aloud in our homes or silently in our hearts the names of those who are, we are remembering at this time. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shamei rabah, yalma divrach rute v'yinlich malchute, v'chai echon v'yom echon v'chai echon v'yit Yisrael, v'gala v'yizman kari v'yimru, amen. Yehe shmei rabah mevorach le'olam o'me amaya, v'yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitbar v'yitromam v'yitnaseh, Vita dar, vita le, vita lao, shemed kucha brihu, the ela, ul ela, mi kol birchata, the shirata, tushpachata, venechamata, namiran viama vimru, amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya, the chayim alenu via ko Israel vimru, amen. O se shalom bimramav, hu ya a se shalom, alenu via ko Israel vimru, amen. May the source of peace bestow peace on all who mourn. And may we be a source of comfort to all who are bereaved. And let us say, Amen. From the temple, I raise our community's Kiddush cup, one of the main ones. Thus there was evening and there was morning the sixth day. Completed now were the heavens and the earth and their whole array. And on the seventh day, God completed the work that had been done. And God ceased on the seventh day from all the work that God had done. And God blessed the seventh day and called it holy. For on it, God ceased from all the work of creating that God had done. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei peri hagafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher bachar bano mikol am, Veromamano mikol ashon, Vekidshanu b'mitzvotav, Vatiten lanu, Adonai Eloheinu, Eino ve'ahava et yom ha-shabbat hazeh ve'et yom ha-zikaron hazeh yom zikron truah be'ahava mikra ha-kodesh Zeche litziot mitzrayim, kivanu bachata, veotanu kidashta mikol ha'amim, udvarcha emet vekayom la'ad. Baruch atah Adonai, 
מלך על כל הארץ, מקדש השבת וישראל ביום הזיכרון. ברוך אתה, אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, won't you all join me, שהחיינו וקיימנו והגיענו לזמן הזה לחיים. At this time, I would like to welcome President of the Congregation, Deb Bacall, to share a few brief announcements. Shana Tova, Happy New Year and Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for joining us for our Arab Rosh Hashanah service. I want to take this opportunity to tell all of you from Beth Tikva how grateful I am for your membership and dedication to the community. Even though we cannot physically be together, many of us have seen each other weekly at services and other events and stayed connected. We have all helped each other through these difficult days, indeed provided the light that the rabbi spoke so meaningful of, meaningfully of at his wonderful sermon tonight. And we will continue to do so, to be here for each other. Thank you to Rabbi Tackman and Cantorial leader Alana Axel for creating this beautiful worship experience in these challenging times. You've truly brought us together even though while we are apart. Thank you to the Beth Tikva Choir musicians for their participation. The music adds so much to our prayers. Thank you to the Ritual Committee and to Matt Halloran and Becca Easley for their production skills and technical assistance. Please fulfill the mitzvah of helping those in need during the holidays by participating in our social action food drive. Please fill your own bags with non-perishable food, paper goods, and toiletries. Requested items are listed on our website. Please separate kosher from non-kosher foods and place in different bags labeled kosher or non-kosher. Kosher food will be donated to the Ark and non-kosher food will be donated to the Schomburg Food Pantry. Paper goods will be considered kosher as will toiletries. The touchless delivery times for your donations are Thursday, October 1st from 6 to 7 p.m. or Sunday, October 4th from 10 to 12 p.m. Leave your food in your trunk and our volunteers will remove it for you. If you can't remember all the details of that detailed message, please check our website and there it will review all the um, details about the food drive and the pickup times, delivery times. Please join us tomorrow at 10 a.m. for our Rosh Hashanah morning service. All links have been provided to our members and registered guests. There will be an in-person young family drive-in service at the Beth Tikva parking lot at 2 p.m. that will also be broadcast on Zoom. For those who have registered and reserved a spot for the family drive-in, please arrive by 1.40 p.m. Please join us for an in-person Tashlik opportunity at 3 p.m. and a shofar sounding at 3.30 p.m. at the small lake behind Bye Bye Baby. Bring breadcrumbs or bird seed and please park near or behind Bye Bye Baby. That's at 580 East Ro Golf Road in Schaumburg for this event. All in-person events, including this one, require social physical distancing and masks. Thank you again and may you all be inscribed for a good year.
As we go forward to a new year, May 5781, be a year of joy and goodness, love and brightness, light unto us, light upon our loved ones and light to the world. Shana tova umetuka, happy, healthy, sweet new year. And we are blessed, we are his story. We are hope, we are healing, we are learning to be strong, we are words, and we are stories, we are pictures of the past, we are carriers of wisdom. Not the first and not the last. The door of our door, Nagid Golana. The door of our door, we protect this chain from generation to generation. The door of our door. These lips will praise your name. Looking back on the journey that we carry in our hearts from the shadow of To the waters that would part, we are blessed and we are holy. We are children of your way, and the words that bring us meaning, we will have the strength to say. The door of our door, we protect this chain from generation to generation. The door of our door, these lips will praise your name.
Your name. 